Hey guys, Grumpy here with a progress video of what I'm working on for the endgame um, guide that's going to come out soon. So, uh, a couple of things. Like I mentioned previously, I picked up Derelict Operations, but I figured a better way to use Derelict Operations is to just include more Pegasus into the fleet. I know originally I had talked about adding Falcons in, but really just going more capital heavy makes more sense. Um, and then a couple of modifications to the fleet itself, as far as uh, weapon systems go. I'm trying out dragon fires instead of hydras. Um, I just want something a little more impactful, and being able to supply or put more Pegasus on the battlefield means you have a lot more dragon fires connecting. Um, so that's what I'm going to try out. Um, we still have the hydras in the griffins, so they're still there. Um, so we don't lose that impact against. Um, Destroyers, right, but we're able to very quickly eliminate um, cruisers and definitely capital ships, which makes a huge difference in these large fights. Um, if we have our capitals on the battlefield and we deprive the enemy of their capitals, then it just cascades the fight. And then our um, champions, we I'm using squalls. Uh, the reason being is we need some good kinetic damage, and they were already providing kinetic damage from the hypervelocity drivers, so I just fully specialize them into that. I'll see how that works. They might need a different missile system, maybe like a Merv would be nice, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna go with Squalls. Um, if the Squalls really like perform and they just do an excellent job, then these hypervelocity drivers will probably get swapped out for like heavy maulers or something, so we can maintain balance. But for right now, they're pretty much all in on kinetics. Uh, I myself am piloting a Falcon. I sometimes deploy myself, sometimes I just deploy the fleet, put it on autopilot uh, or full assault. It just depends. Um, other than that, not really much else to say. Um, we're making good progress. Oh, thank you guys. Um, I did put a poll out to ask you guys if um, you'll allow me to use uh, console commands to add story points to my um, character. And you guys overwhelmingly voted yes, um, so thank you for that. That sped up the progress a lot. I was going to farm them anyway, but this just helps me get those videos out faster. Um, so thank you for that. And um, the endgame video is still going to take a while to do because I have to demod the rest of these ships. So I have five demods on these Pegasus. Um, so there are 35 points now to deploy, which is a huge reduction. Um, I still have to work on these two. But most of my other ships are at four D mods, if not five. Um, so they're pretty much as cheap as they're going to get. Um, but these two I'm still working on. As far as officers go, I have, um, I have two more officers built the exact same. I think I'm going to change all of these officers, though, and drop field modulation for ballistic mastery. Um, that's going to take a lot of time to flip those officers. But uh, I think ballistic mastery is going to do better uh, for these Pegasus. But we'll see. Anyway, um, I have an Ordo lined up that we're going to go ahead and, and fight. And I'll show you how the uh, fleet performs with these modifications. So um, the big selling point of derelict operations is to make your, chips, your ships very cheap to deploy. So whereas before these were 50 apiece, now for the same, actually for significantly less, um, we can get for um, Pegasus out for the same 150 cost that it would be normally, which is insane. Um, we're not gonna deploy all four at the start. We're gonna deploy three, and then we're gonna go up on champions, griffins, and I'll deploy myself just so I can watch the fight. That's fine, keep a nice little group here. Uh, we'll go ahead and send everyone over to the comm relay. We'll push for this comm relay in the center. Uh, hopefully we can take it before we get swarmed. Falcon's pretty fast. Uh, one issue with this fleet, with my character, is um, I had to drop electronic warfare. So now we have to sit on top of the objective in order to secure it, which is a problem when um, when you need to get deployment points quicker 
And you don't want to commit so many ships to a capture. And then you get a situation like that where you're waiting on your main fleet to secure their relay, but you've already secured yours. So now with 41 deployment points, uh, it kind of like opens the, the floodgates for more ships. I'm going to bring in, I'm actually just going to bring in the last Pegasus. And we'll put everyone on there. I'm going to go ahead and retreat. By retreat, I mean uh, attack. And yeah, whereas before we could only field two Pegasus, now we have four on the battlefield. Um, so I think that's going to make a massive difference. The fleet did perform better when it was using Hydras, so I'm interested to see... I've only done a couple of fights. I've only done a couple of fights using the dragon fires. Um, I did notice that it performed better because uh, with so many hydras on the battlefield, it kind of overwhelms their point defense. Uh, but we'll just see how this goes. Uh, uh, I think we still just let the enemy get close to us. Let's protect this Pegasus's flank. Uh, I got stunned in the middle of that chaos, but that's fine. Yeah, so the lag time is a little high on the Dragonfires to get through that shield, but once they crack through, that ship is dead it like, instantly. Um, not necessarily in the case of capital ship versus capital ship, but capital ship versus any smaller class is getting that damage bonus applied from uh, advanced turret gyros as well as I think there's an officer skill that also I think it's hard, elite target analysis also benefits it. So that's where we lost a little performance against these smaller ships. Um, but we do have Hydras to compensate. I might transition the champions back over to Hydras so we have a better mix, but I really like what the Squalls can do. And then at this point, I think we can just full assault. Uh, once you go full assault, your Pegasus really open up and they start firing those dragon fires a lot more aggressively. I don't like that. <laughs> oh man, that's really good. But yeah, pretty easy fight. Um, we got stunned in the middle of that, so that was a little bit of a problem. But besides that, I think the fleet performed admirably. Um, again, this is going against Ordos, where you have the natural disadvantage of how many ships you can deploy to the fight. But if you're going against any like typical fleet, like any just regular human faction fleet, um, you start with the advantage, and you can get all your ships on the battlefield, and usually you can overrun your op opponent um, before they even have time to get their capital ship into the fight. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration. Um, I'll continue to demod these ships, get these Pegasus just a bit cheaper, and uh, the end game video should go up pretty soon. Anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Other than that, grumpy out.